everybody. Denny Murray from Paranormal Answers. I hope uh, you're all having a great day. I've been asked about the things called the Clairs. What are they and how to develop them? Well, in this video, I want to briefly touch on them and try and get you started, okay? I'll take the main four here. There are others, but let's just begin here. First is clairsentience. It means clear feeling. You feel things like emotions. The energy of emotions are left in places. You may go into a room where there's been a heated argument and feel the tension. It can be anger, sadness, joy. You can develop this clair by watching movies or reading books and putting yourself into the story as the characters. You become a part of the story. Our next clair is clairaudience. This is clear hearing. You hear things others don't. A prime example is when you hear your name called and nobody's there but you. You might hear movement or muffled voices and no one is there. You develop this by listening carefully to things like distant water running, the sound of the breeze in the trees. Learn to listen. Next is claircognizance. This is clear knowing. You simply know things with no way to know them. An example is when someone is going to take a trip and refuses to go because there's going to be an accident and the accident happens. Or you know someone is coming before they arrive. You develop this by looking at questions and seeing if you know the answer without peeking at it. And finally, we look at clairvoyance. This is clear seeing. You see things that others cannot see. Spirits, things that aren't visible, but are images in the mind. They're sometimes seen with the eyes closed. Development, how do we do that? You meditate and envision things in your mind. It's easiest done just before bed. We all have one or more of these clairs and can develop them. They're useful in investigations because they deal with things that can't always be measured electronically. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you. Goodbye for now and safe investigating.